My name is Adrian Finzi. I'm an associate professor of biology at Boston University. And we're at the top of a Central Tower in the Duke Forest. We're actually pumping high levels of carbon dioxide into the forest in order to determine the ability of forests to store atmospheric CO2. Carbon dioxide is a, is a greenhouse gas. That means that it traps heat in the Earth's atmosphere. So as the concentration of carbon dioxide uh, rises in the Earth's atmosphere, uh, the planet is going to progressively warm. The reason we're interested in forests is because these forests store about 80% of all the carbon that's stored in land ecosystems. A lot of that carbon, though, also goes into roots. And slowly through time, um, the carbon can accumulate not only in the trees themselves, but in the soils. About two-thirds of the carbon in this forest is found in the soils and about one-third in the trees. So understanding them and their response to high CO2 and eventually to our changing climate is gonna be really important for us to be able to predict how warm the planet's gonna get. The real advantage to these uh, free air carbon dioxide enrichment experiments is that the trees are growing under high CO2 uh, but are subject to all the natural conditions that affect forest and forest growth. If there's a drought, the drought is in the experimental plots. If there are insect outbreaks or herbivores that come through, um, they're found throughout uh, the plots as well. This experiment is, is really interesting in that it, it, it can do two things. It can address these sort of more applied issues of, of climate change and, and the role that forests play in mitigating climate change. Um, but also we learn a lot of basics about the, how the carbon uh, cycles through a forest ecosystem. I've been working on this project for about 14 years. Uh, I started working on the project as a postdoctoral research associate at Duke University. This is probably one of the most exciting places to work. Uh, this is by far the most collaborative project that I've ever been involved with. Over 250 scientific publications have been uh, produced from the research at, at this research site and is really a, a unique and in some ways life-changing experience. There's a lot of interest in this kind of experiment, really from both sides of the aisle. On the one hand, the fossil fuel industry is really interested in the results because they'd like to show that plants can respond to high CO2 and in fact mitigate all this carbon dioxide emissions. What we're finding here is that the ability of these trees to take up excess CO2 is present but quite limited and there's no way that these trees and these kinds of forest ecosystems will ever be able to absorb all of the CO2 that's being released through the combustion of fossil fuels.